Girl. <laughs> She's naked. Mm -hmm. Sit, sit. Look at that new shirt. Hey, girl. Shake. Good girl. like you wanted and then I bought the stuff to make a lasagna like I wanted and we're gonna have a taste gosh. Liz has decided to challenge Stouffer's and make her own lasagna. So this is what really happened. I called Julia and said oh you know what baby I thought it would be really nice if I made you lasagna because you have been really wanting lasagna and then Julia replied oh look it's time to put the Stouffer's in. Mm -mm, she, not gonna, she is not gonna silence me. She replied, oh baby, why don't you just get Stouffer's? I really want it to be good. <laughs> so we're going to have a taste off. First step, open it. <laughs> no. Why? You could have said that. Fucking jewels. I didn't know that. Read the directions. I, who does that? In tin foil. Sorry. Just take the whole thing off and put some tin foil on it. Leave film on tray. Do not vent. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, that seemed really crazy to leave it on. Sorry. I now, mean, if the stopper sucks, I'm not taking responsibility. For well, if the stopper sucks, then I'm going to eat yours. <laughs> First step, fix the mistake I just made. Sorry. Yeah, that was my bad. Leave film tray on. My bad. So, we have about... Four and a half minutes left on the Stouffer's. And here we have Liz's homemade lasagna fixins. I'm excited about both. Don't even. I can't touch it? No, don't say now. Don't say now that you're excited. You wasn't excited before. I was always excited to eat two lasagnas. How could I not get excited about that? Jez. Mmm. What's in there? We have onion, garlic and onions, we have red pepper, zucchini, squash, uh, mushrooms, spinach, and parsley. And this is all the cheese that Liz would let me eat. Oh, sh Now you get no cheese. Throw that away. <laughs> Can I have some more cheese? Thank you. Assembly is almost finished. Just in time for Stouffer's dinner. So here is Stouffer's vegetarian lasagna, and here is our home cooked vegetarian lasagna. I gotta say, Liz's looks way better. Thanks, Bill. I'm gonna eat a lot of it. I'm gonna eat the vast majority of it, actually. Rocotta. First, first up is the Stouffer's, which now doesn't look as appetizing. <coughs> what were your initial impressions of the Stouffer's? It tastes like a box lasagna. There's not a lot of depth. There's no vegetables. There is no vegetables. It is simply... It's cheese and, and tomatoes and cheese and noodles. On a scale of 1 to 10. I would give it like a like a 4. It was nothing remarkable about it. Um, again, it, it didn't have vegetables. On my scale, 4 is like close to an edible, so I'm going to say I'd give it like a 5.5. 
I was like, okay, you can eat this. Like, I could eat this. On your scale. Do I necessarily want to eat it? No. So I would give it a five and a half. I give it like a six. Like a 16. So good. I can't give it an eight. It's just kind of different. Mm -hmm. Like it's a, it feels a little bit lighter. It's not as tomato-y. I like that. I like, I like it a lot. I give it a solid three and a half. It's, it's tastes delicious. I would give it a 10. You did an amazing job. So for the record, which was better? I honestly think that Liz's homemade lasagna! You get a lasagna, you get a lasagna. Everybody gets lasagna!